Woman in Fresno wants the community to be on the lookout for a red truck with a shattered front and back window. She believes the driver of that pickup hit and killed her horse. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Alessios spoke to the horse owner about what happened the night of the crash. What can you tell us? Well, Rich, Kara tells me she had sleepless nights for the past two days because the horse was like family to her. Now she's hoping that the driver gets caught in the story, and you'll see right here on Fox 26. Evening, a few teenagers took some of their horses out for a ride in Madeira, not expecting to have a life or death situation. Kara Kerber tells me her boyfriend's niece and her friends were riding on road 28 and a half in 14th Avenue by the local cemetery when a car came speeding down the road. It scared Kara's 17 year old horse Patrona bucking off one of the teenage boys. And she threw him off like instantly. And like the car just ran right into her, broke all four of her legs. Um, I'm sorry. Um, she was trying to get back up, you know, for a while. And the sheriff, you know, he told me I just I have to go out there because I'm the owner of the horse and they want to know, you know, what to do with the body. But yeah, she took her last breath out there and the car stopped. I know it shattered the windows. There were there was glass everywhere, but the guy he I guess got out of the car, looked, got back in the car, and drove off really fast. She got a call on Saturday night while trunk or treating with her kids. The Madeira Sheriff's Office said it was a hit and run. Deputies asked her to come out to the scene since she is the owner of the horse. Luckily, that boy is safe. You know um, that you know she seen the car coming head on. You know because he would have died too. Kara, holding back tears, says the driver driving the red pickup truck still has not been caught. You never promise tomorrow. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, she did not deserve what happened to her. I mean, it was very tragic, but, you know, also, there's someone out there, you know, that caused that devastating crime, and I just, I hope he's caught. That's my main goal. Now, this is still an ongoing investigation, and I, when I spoke to one of the officers from CHP Madeira, he told me if the driver is caught and is found at fault, he could be facing two charges, with one of them being a misdemeanor in a hit and run. If he is found not at fault, he could still be charged with leaving the scene of a hit and run. Rich? Such a sad, sad story, Sophia. Thank you. CHP Madeira says they are looking for a red pickup truck with broken front and back windshields. If you've seen anyone in the Madeira area with that description, you're encouraged to call CAP, CHP Madeira 559-507-8120.